Yeah. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Yep, perfect for recording. Yes. Ah, <laughs> cute kitty and weird. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna lie. The red tint makes you makes a cat look cuter, and you look more like a tomato. Yeah. Aww. Though the cat's cute. Man. Yeah. Oh, cute kitty. Aww. Yeah. That's just my whole scream. I mean, scream, let's record. Woo. Yeah, it already is. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. Oh. Tomato man and half shirt guy. Bro, I don't know. What I don't get is, how do they get the rape here wrong in anime almost every single time? Like, because you see them, like, going with full-on slashes with it. Hmm? Whenever it's a straight-up thrusting weapon. Hmm? That's actually true. Now that you mention it, yeah. that is actually... Now, oh, oh no, you've, you, you've, just, you've just put us into a rabbit hole, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 yeah. Like, like, look up an image, like, of a rape here. Hmm? Yeah, hold on. Yeah. Hmm. Hold on. Uh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> like, I just wanted to full screen the pin image. That's the. Loop. Can I please full screen the? Can I like full screen, please? I just want to full screen it. Where's open image and new tab? There it is. Hmm. Yeah. I know you can. Slash with the tip, yes. But using the whole weapon just to slash something, even so close to the base, it really doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. You're completely right. It makes absolutely no sense. Why would you slash with, with, with what is essentially a metal pole? Exactly. Hmm? I know why. It's because they only know how to use blunt weapons. <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> you, you see how I'm, uh, how it just thin, how it's basically thick at the tip, but it tapers down to a thin yeah. edge? Yeah. Yeah, that's for thrusting into organ. Hmm? Yeah. It's basically just one thrust, and then you run away and leave <laughs> at that point. Yeah, yeah, that's ex yeah, no, no. So with them, it's more like it would be like okay, like see. Also, you're talking about that. Don't these normally belong with like fencing and all that? Um, yeah, exactly. So what's would it not with use it against a great sword? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, let me just. Oh, uh, well, there's that piece of the pole. Here's this. <laughs> that's what it would basically be like. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh. There's another fun weapon that I'm, uh, God, I wonder if I remember the name of it, but it's basically a three blade, um, uh, dagger that's basically just a straight up thrusting piece. You can't even, you can barely cut with it. Oh. But it, but you basically hold it above your head and you go down in between the neck and the shoulder and it can pierce the heart of the lung. Hmm? I love how the cat's just looking so innocent and like, yeah. We're talking about murder. <laughs> murder. <laughs> That's oh, don't worry. I've seen her murder a couple of mouse. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. So it's a Death psychopath is... just like you. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh... yep. Do you own him? She's my... This cat is the inspiration for why we love sharp objects. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was because um, uh, you just had an obsession, an obsession with wanting to die. Wait, what? Well, considering that, like, it seems like you have an obsession with wanting to kill. So, eh. God, no. where do you get that obsession from? I don't know. Maybe the fact that I have a hole in my nipple. Oh uh, well, you're the one who was playing with the trainer. <laughs> well, but you were the one who said, "I'm going to show you how to disarm a knife." 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine that? <laughs> and, then look, and then I look, and then and then I and then I looked. I was wearing a complete white shirt, and then I see little red triplets on my shirt. That's completely white. Oh, absolutely. Oh yeah. Don't try to disarm a knife. It's it's very stupid. As we learned, because of the fact I have a hole in my nipple. So actually, I, since I would have been the attacker, wouldn't that admit I do disarm it? Because they'll probably kill themselves while it's being disarmed. Technically. Technically, <laughs> or just have a really cool uh, nipple t- uh, piercing. <laughs> oh gosh! Also, mm. oh. <laughs> oh, that just brings back memories of back when I was younger. Oh yeah, now I'm gonna show you how to do it. And I was actually getting decent at that, somewhat. Not really great, but <laughs> no, not not super great. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so what anime have you been watching recently? What anime? Yeah. Um. Mm, I'd make a joke and say Boku no Piku, but I have not at all wanted to know anything about that. Mainly I've been watching this little guy eat my fingers. Oh, I'm binging Game of Thrones. Okay, well, even though that's not an anime, ah, that's close enough. <laughs> no, it's not an anime. <laughs> yeah, really, like, yeah. No. To your entirety. Ooh. That's, that's a great one. Ah, uh, yes, I've that's that it's this is the problem I have right with modern day anime streaming services in general right so mm-hmm. you have your anime that you really want to watch right and then you find another one and another one and another one and then you oh, have yeah. all these shows you want to watch but there's just too many and so when you're you basically spending hour you're spending yeah. you're spending five hours just scrolling through oh uh, which show do I want to watch <laughs> one two three four five six. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch the tiger many, by its toe. Yeah, it's like, like. How many times would you say you finished a, a twenty-four episode anime in a day? Hmm? Uh, what do you mean? Like you're talking about what like, I do most days? Just a whole. Se- oh, okay. <laughs> like you're talking about. Um, yeah, that's actually pretty common for me. Honestly, get bored. Okay. Well, honestly, that's just common in general. I'll. I'll binge a whole fifty episode show in a day. Honestly, it's oh, not that yeah. long. Let, hold on, let me let me real fast tell you exactly about the average. It is uh, how many minutes? It is roughly six hundred and twenty five minutes per um, oh. per uh twenty four episodes, twenty four twenty five episode season, something like that. Uh, what are we doing with our lives? <laughs> uh, well, that's a good question, good sir. What are we doing? Oh dear. Yeah, you know, honestly, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. If there was going to be like a something we could do together, right? I'm not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. Like through Discord and stuff, it would definitely yeah. be like watch uh, Gunsmith Cats, like oh, just yeah. eat popcorn and watch Gunsmith Cats. Man, I like to just start trying uh, some anime uh, PC games. Hmm? At some point. Oh. You mean like the ones that have 50 bazillion of? Yes. You mean the ones that are all hentai most of the time? Yeah, but we'll start with a very well-known one. Am I allowed to say the name? What's the name of it, good sir? Uh, it's My Hero Academia something. It's a new on the mobile stream game. Oh, I thought you were going to say it was completely porn. Oh, God, no, it's not. <laughs> but it could be if you want well no <laughs> you're talking about like what uh you're talking about like my steam library here where i literally have mm-hmm. get ready get okay. ready do 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 don't show the cat that stuff do do yeah. Oh God, my baby. Yeah. Ah. yeah, like you're talking. You're talking about all that. You mean all those? Because you're talking about. Well, I guess. You're talking about my games. I have 265 games. I'm gonna say probably 165 of those are probably one dollar p p games. <laughs> yeah, but you just scarred my baby for life. <laughs> well, cat's fault. You shouldn't have been looking at the screen. I've been scarred okay. by some of these games. And some of these games are nightmares. Oh. Jess. Oh. 
Oh, yeah, like, honestly, okay, so we were talking about this um, early last week. What's the most generic anime you found? I found... The I, most generic? Yeah, generic well, anime name that actually exists as a real show. I can tell you mine. And you already know uh, it. Is that a zombie? <laughs> what? Is that a zombie? Okay, that's that's, that is a pretty generic name, but mine's definitely more generic. Magical Warfare. Oh, Mental Warfare? No, Magical Warfare. Oh, ma- oh man. <laughs> You're like talking about... 90% of you guy. It is. Mm. It definitely is, for sure. Like, you look at what some of those are, and... Gal Wharf. Like, you're talking about, like, when you talk about generic anime names and, like, light novel names and stuff, this mm-hmm. comes up. This should be, like, one of the first things to come up. It's like, come on. Like, h- how do you get more generic than this? Absolutely. Like, hold on. Let me, uh, like, how do you get more gene- generic? Okay, that's like the worst. That's like the worst picture I've ever seen. Mm. And this one is no better. Like, like seriously, uh, like, like, why is all the pictures all the? Like you're talking about like. Like you look at this, right? And you tell me yeah. that ain't gen- that's just the most generic looking anime you can probably find. Oh god. Like yes. I- I'm not going to lie, I started watching it, right? And my I was watching it on my Xbox one, right? And what happened mm-hmm. was while watching it, my Xbox one media player decided to screw up. So it went from watching it in Japanese with subtitles to watching it in English with subtitles. Did you so- just cut out? What? Yep. What the heck's going on with you? Why are you lagging, my friend? Well, we're still alive. Yeah, you're still alive. <laughs> now you're on a potato. I would assume. But, yeah, you look at stuff like that, right? And, oh, you, you there, bro? Oh, no, is he dead? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yep. There we go. Hello, you're back. Oh gosh, gosh, yeah. you went you went potato mode there for a moment. I thought you went potato mode. My phone's doing fine. Well, mine was too, or my computer, oh. I should say, was doing pretty decent. Ha <laughs> ha, But anyways, like yeah, you talk about these generic shows, right? And like yeah, it's like why watch them? There's no point. But then, you just look for these, and then. You do like I do, right? And you just go onto the bookstore of, like, anything, whether it's uh, mm-hmm. Barnes & Noble or that, and you realize that's how they're making them. They have three billion generic named books. The Greatest Magic yeah. Caster Wants to Retire or whatever, or The Greatest Magic Caster uh, Retire, uh, The Greatest Magic Caster's Retirement Plan. What? It is honestly... Uh... Best way to describe it, just like about 95% of what you're thinking is probably correct. It takes place in a school, in a magical high school, and oh. just by me telling you that, you probably can guess. Shenanigans going to happen, then someone tries to fight him, but someone powerful tries so to fight him. Gonna, so is this guy going to retire at 40? No, no, he's like 20, 18, 20, something like that. So is he going to retire at 30? No, no. See, it's not like the U.S. government. You have to understand, somehow in this world, retirement can happen at any age. Oh. But, yeah, it's like, it's I'm about this guy who's the most powerful magic caster. And girl girl thinks she's stronger. Girl loses to him. Girl has to train under him. Blah, blah, blah. Girl falls in love with him? Yes. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you've, yeah. you've hit the nail around the head. And then yeah. there's multiple. It's just a harem. Yeah, but you you look in there's like fifty three different fifty three thousand different books like that. Hmm. And I can only guess it's the Lolicon Harem. Hmm. No, actually maybe I don't know. It's 
No, oh, I can't dear. say. Hold on. I no, there there probably is one in there. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Hmm. Probably. Like honestly, you look at that, <sighs> and you then realize that wow, there are a ton of generic shows just from looking at that. Now, okay. let's talk about something else, right? Because we talked about some generic mm-hmm. sounding shows, right? But let's talk yeah. about shows that we want to personally see get another season to them. Oh. And why? Zonkorea. Because I think that they didn't... I, I think that they just need to finish it at this point. Because, like, the manga is done. It took, like, two or three seasons, but I think they could do it. <sighs> Dude, with the rate that they were going at with that show, we could have had, like, six. Ugh. Because, honestly, you... yes, I completely agree. That's, like, in my top five shows that need to ha- get a second season. Or another season, in general. Oh, God. Now, what was your... Now, question is, right? I fell in love with the show. Like, it was... Uh, when I say I discovered that show 2018-ish, what did you like about that show? Mm-hmm. What was what the I thing that drew... Show? Yeah, what was the thing that drew you into it? Oh, I loved the romance aspect of it. And the... And God, I loved hating on the creepy dad. Hmm. That's yeah, interesting that you. That's interesting that you mentioned that. Yeah, I completely. The, the romance part was good, and actually, I'm not gonna lie. The fight scenes were pretty decent for what they were, considering that it wasn't an action show, right? Like it was actually pretty decent. And the protagonist. Yeah, and the protagonist is pretty fun. Yeah, he. Yeah, definitely for sure. Um, and the cat, Bob or. Is it Bob or Bub? I know I, I can't remember which one. Was it Bub in the show and Bob in the manga, I believe? It was Bob. Or it was something like that because... Uh, well, yeah, like, um, yeah, that was the way that was happening. Um, yeah, yeah, I completely agree. It's some decent fight scenes, and honestly, considering the fact that they really only used two of the manga for one season, mm-hmm. you're talking about and it was really only more of a starter, honestly. It really should have... Because that, that already had such a good premise. And then... Absolutely. It, and, yeah, definitely if you read the ending. Like, the ending of it... It actually irritated me a little. I'm not gonna lie. That ending... We're, we might talk about that later on. Um, but it just... It's an interesting... It was a good ending. Don't get me wrong. But I don't think it was going where most people expected it to go. No, not really. The ending mm. of that book, the ending of the manga series, definitely, people were expecting, like, all these different things. And it didn't go like that. Now, I'm going to talk... I'm surprised. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I, I interrupted you, honestly. Continue on. No, you're fine. I'm surprised with just how much mutilation was in that series. Hmm? I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Actually, the idea of a zombie, like, because a lot... It's interesting, but you have to really think, right... Over here in the West, the zombie idea had really blew up. But over there, there's just not nearly as many zombie-featured shows. You know what I mean? Like Except for High School of the Dead. Yeah. <laughs> Trashiest show to ever exist. Yeah, but... yeah, when Trashiest, they, but most fun. Yeah, you're talking about when you... It's like uh, God-tier trash is the best way to describe it. A 12-gauge trench gun? Hell yeah, man. Come on. Yeah, the riot show. Yeah, that show. That show, sadly, we won't ever get a second season of that. 95%. Oh, God. 99.9999% certain that we're never going to get a second season. Great show, though. Absolutely. Just like how the... Just like how uh, the 30th chapter will never be published in English. Oh. Because it's weird. Chapter 29 was in the 7th book, but then... In 2013, the writer decided that he was wanting to continue working on the book series. And then wrote mm. one chapter, stopped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, when was the last time a chapter came out? I know there isn't going to be another one. 2013. Really, oh, yeah. He's super, um... Uh, He's it, super it, dead. Can I say the D word? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's super dead, yeah. He died of um yeah. heart failure. That heart condition? Heart, yeah. It was essentially led up to heart failure, yeah. Um, yeah. Daisuke, um, whatever his name was. Uh. They said the only way it could continue is if his son did it? But... Mm, I, no. The fact is, is that I read a um, th- 
a thing online, Anime News Network, a while back, uh, mm-hmm. a month ago or something like that, when I was doing research into it again after so long. And basically, the illustrator of it, who is also a writer himself, basically said, he, I have no idea where it's going to head, he, where he was taking it, and I really don't feel like I should continue on it. It was really his own pet project. It, I, had, I was really only there to illustrate. And, see, and he talked about, and he said, one of the things that really caught my eye was he talked about how in the U.S., like, really, art, comic artists and stuff don't really matter as much. Because the fact of the matter is, one comic artist leaves or dies or something like that, and we just find another one to replace him to continue on the story. Yeah. But another reason why I'm, uh, the second season happened was because the anime didn't do too well to him. Uh, uh, see, but... Either that year's a pretty heavy tsunami... It, it... Well, not only that, but, well, yeah, but it was mainly what killed the anime was the fact is it wasn't so much ratings, because you'd be surprised, it was, even though it wasn't rated the best, it wasn't a bad show, and, and a lot of people now, they see that, but what it was also was the fact of the matter is, is that it was one of those deals where author dies, and then the illustrator, he doesn't want to, he, it's not that he doesn't want to work out, he liked the guy, clearly, but mm-hmm. he, but he says, it is not mine. Unlike us in the U.S., where someone leaves, someone dies, our, our comic artist-wise, another one will come in to fill a site. Over there, that's just unheard of. It's not really... That's not the way they work over there. And that, I, that's the greatest thing. That's really one of the things that was really insightful to think about because we don't take that into consideration being Western anime watchers, that we that they do run on different... They are different culturally as well as... Um, they are figuratively and culturally, all this other stuff, they're just completely different than us when it comes to their mm-hmm. culture. And that's what most people don't understand. So when they, like, he actually said, for the people that are writing up, asking, will it ever get finished? No. Stop. Just stop writing. It's never going to get finished. Hmm. That's Absolutely. Now, I can tell you absolutely another show that I would love to get a second season of. And it mm-hmm. very well could because it's, Somewhat like High School of the Dead and Lovelace, it hit. It's already hit in Lovelace cult status, where it's very it's, well known, and that is Monster Musume. Oh yeah, when was the last time they had a, an announcement for a second season? Like uh, two years ago. Well, there was theories going around and all this stuff saying Monster Musume. First of all, to me, Monster Musume really is one of those big anime for me. It wasn't the thing that got me into oh, yeah. anime, but it was the thing that's. It was the. It really is my first... It was my first ever anime purchase. Before that, I only mm-hmm. paid for Funimation and Control. Like, it was the first time I ever bought something on physical media, which now is definitely never gonna... Yeah, there, I have a lot of anime and crap. <laughs> but, yeah, that's a show that... It's more than likely probably will get a second season. But yeah. when is the question when will it get the second season it it mm-hmm. it's like it's popular enough like it was even popular back in the day it's funny series it was popular all this other stuff and i've even mm-hmm. read a couple of the manga it's not the manga i don't really like as much as the show i thought the show did it way better and i i think they kept it really fun and the etchiness i don't yeah. It was like midline. It was pretty good. It was a mid high. Mm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna say it was up there as one of the etchier shows because what see what a lot of people don't know is that mm-hmm. the fact is it was censored in Japan. Oh. And that's why mo- any release on a streaming service is also censored. But the American, the English release that I have is a completely uncensored. So you're talking about it's oh. it's like, yeah. So it's yeah. So that's why like um, Sentai Filmworks when they do it, they usually are pretty good at uncensoring. A lot of the crap when it comes I admit, to it's been a while since I've watched it. Mm. I admit, yeah. How did you need to catch up? Yeah, well, yeah. Is there any other, like, is there any other series, in your opinion, that definitely should get a second or another season? Because I think there's maybe one or a couple more, not in my mind. Well, this, the mangas are. Ugh. Whenever it started, they didn't have enough source material, so for it, what it was kind of the wrong time to do it. But if anything, I think it should be Blue Exorcist, considering how many uh, manga they have now. And 
Yeah, because they, technically they have that's a show that has two seasons. Uh, Kyoto Saga mm-hmm. takes place in between uh, during the takes place during the same time point as the first season. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. that's I actually it's been a while since I've watched that show. Now that I think about it, but yeah. But there's a seven year gap between the two seasons. Was there now? Oh wow, yeah. Now yeah. that's something to think about. Yeah, that is true. But even then, another thing that I I forget also is that when I go to check releases, I check them by the English release date. Mm-hmm. When it comes to not only shows but also um, manga and stuff like that, but when you actually do research into it, you'll realize that a lot of these shows, just because they're released in say twenty thirteen or whatever, that they're talking they they've been going on since the early two thousands. So it's one of those deals where you look at that and it's like, oh, I forgot about that show existed. Hmm. I can, yeah, I can. I'm not gonna lie, it was one of those shows that. Uh, I enjoyed it somewhat. And it's an enjoyable show, don't get me wrong. I can watch absolute trash shows and enjoy it. That's not the problem. Um, But it just... It didn't stick with me. Hmm. Yeah. A lot of action-packed shounens don't stick with them, uh, you know, full-time watchers. <laughs> well, no, the problem... Well, yeah, that's a whole other thing. Yeah, when it comes to these, like, shounens and all that... Oh, gosh, they are, like, the biggest drag for me to watch. I do not like watching Shonen's nearly as much. Because mm. it's, like, one season, okay. Two seasons, that's fine. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> like, oh. it starts, it, it just goes insane. It's, like, the biggest daunting task for me when picking a show is, how many episodes does it have? How many seasons? Oh, there's ten? Oh, that's great. That's very great indeed. Oh, uh, are we having technical difficulties here? It didn't... No, I, I, it's, I'm still doing fine. Internet connection-wise. There you are. Uh, we... Hello. Hello, yeah, I'm here. You cut out for a good uh, second. Hmm? Yeah, you did too. I, oh, I did? Yeah, you did as well. Oof. Mhm. Must be internet connection. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. My grandmother's house. Yeah, it's not the greatest when it comes to that. It's... Oh yeah. Definitely because well, part of the reason is over here, we have walls that are super thick and made because this house was made in the early 1900s. So super thick mm-hmm. walls and it Wi-Fi does not like to travel through it. So you're talking about like in my room when it comes to download speeds. I'm lucky if the door is shut. I'm getting probably 700 kilobits a second. Hmm. Which is not very high, anyone who knows it. But if the door is open, I might be getting three. At most. Now, at my house, yeah, that's a little different. At my house, I get closer to 50, 50 megabits, 50, 100, 200 megabits a second. So my house has pretty fast Wi Fi. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that probably that doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Uh, here. I'd say the most I get is three to four bars. Well, ba- the thing about bars higher. is that the thing about those bars is that they are completely inaccurate unless you do an actual test. Ah. Like when it comes to that, like mine right now says I'm at five bars when it comes to Wi-Fi. Five bars, but I'm getting only three point five download speed and not that much more upload. No. <laughs> like. Hmm. It's all good. Oh, all right. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to make sure you didn't cut out. Yeah, hands just getting a bit tired. That's all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now there I we can... go. Did you just prop it up or something against something? There you go. Mm-hmm. There I go. What? Nothing. I just sat it down for a second. I right. to... Well, it's okay. Rest your hand for a bit. It's okay, man. You don't need to worry about that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, when it comes to, um, now getting back on subject to what we were talking about, when it comes to anime, mm-hmm. I'm I'm gonna have to say show another show on my list that I would love to see a second season for, hmm, oh or a third season for, it's more to be exact, Spice and Wolf. Oh, most definitely. Like, come on, like, 
you know, I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie when I have to say that most people I've talked about who I've talked about the series to, they're similar to the people for Half Life. They are they will not stop saying it should get a third it should get a third season. It should get a third game for Half Life. And all this stuff, so <laughs> they're they're exactly like that. Like, um yeah, that's completely true in a lot of ways. Like, honestly, I fell in love with the show. And the show is the show now that I think about it. Spice and Wolf was my first light novel that I've ever read. Mm. And it well, and it was it, while it wasn't my first show. I, actually, no, no, it wasn't my first. Hold on, did I read it before or after her? I read, watched the series. I think I read it partially before and partially after I watched the series, the first volume. Now I've read six volumes into it, but and it's going well. Absolutely, hey, Hello. really. Holo best girl. <laughs> Almost definitely. Yep. But it really starts to grind your gears whenever you know that in 20 years or more, you're still going to wonder, oh, where's that second season? But you know it's not coming most of the time. Yeah, or a second, third, or where's the new season for it? Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. Now, another thing that comes up to me is that the only good thing about a lot of these th- shows we've talked about is that they have source material to base it off. So if we really want to know mm-hmm. what happens next in the story, we can read the source material. Yeah, but some are just anime only. Yeah, mm-hmm. but then you get to... Yeah, exactly. But it's when you get to those ones where it's only an anime or it's only um, something like that. Then that's when it gets... There's somewhat of a problem. Mm-hmm. Like, um, let's see. I'm trying to think. What's something I have? I'm sure I have one over here that's only anime. Uh, I'm too lazy to look. Uh, I, know I, have, I know I have so much stuff that is just not based off anything that's its own deal. I think that's why most anime um give, like, season endings, uh, a non-confirmable ending, like, um, uh, sets off on a really good note most of the time. Just because it might not get a second or third season. Hmm. Uh, yeah, in some ways, that is true, like, but nowadays, with the anime landscape nowadays, anything, basically, I'm gonna say since the major shows have come out now, major not being so much anymore, but I'm referring to Hero Academia, Attack on Titan, um, what else, you know, the big ones, um, that since those have come out, right, they have somewhat, they were the ones that really got a lot of people into the anime community. Mm -hmm. And so those ones are the ones that a lot of these anime, uh, a lot of the ones that did start out only a couple years ago, like me and myself, like myself, did, we watched it a couple years ago, we said, like, oh, it's good, let's continue on to another series. Oh, it's not going to get the finished because unlike the other ones, which are really big, these ones, no. And yeah, I can completely agree. It completely grinds my gears when it comes to seeing a show and saying, like, the ending of it, it'll just leave it on a cliffhanger. Like, it's horrible to think about, like, that. Uh, Then you have to wait two to maybe three, even four years before you can actually enjoy your second season. That is if you do get it. Exactly. Exactly. (laughs) <laughs> hot D. It's a lot of time investment. Hmm? Yeah, exactly. You invest your time. You so not only, so it's not only time investment in the way from the studios that make it, because the studios that make it normally they're getting paid for all at once near the very beginning. They aren't, and based off ratings among other things, determine it if it's gonna get another season. Like, it's one of those deals where they're paid like, they aren't they aren't really making that much money. Per show, these anime studios don't make money that much, money per show. Not enough to pay rent usually. Oh yeah, no, it, yeah, it gets very difficult for them. Like, why do you think they make less than our minimum wage over here? Oh no, like it's insane to think about. Like, but yet they're not doing it because of the money. They're doing it because they enjoy it, and that's what I think. That's mm-hmm. the difference between a lot of cartoons over in the West versus them. Because, yeah, you can tell the shows that are just cash grab. Uh, Dragon Ball. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but the shows that aren't, ca- like, cash grabs, like, that are actually, like, in here, over here in the West, 
what's the last animated show or whatever that you've watched that doesn't just feel like it's a cash grab to some extent? Hmm. Like, well, I just, people are probably going to think that this net is a, a bit negative, but the most recent, I would say, probably Rick and Morty season seems m- more on the line of a cra- cash grab, but I mm, still I, love artistic integrity. Well, see, that's the thing, see, because I don't watch a lot of the modern stuff. Like, honestly, I haven't watched The Sims. I might watch it if it comes on on the TV uh, when my dad's at home or something and, say, Family Guy or The Simpsons or something like that. I might watch those, but most of the time, I'm like, I don't care about them. So, Mm -hmm. yeah, that's why I was asking you, who I know does watch more of these adult animated and even none, that, yeah... But most of the time, I don't really participate in too much animated shows on a normal television because, like, live action shows have gotten so much better. Hmm? Yeah, well, it's funny because. Like, yeah, hmm? okay, talk. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, no, you're fine. Oh, I'm just. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we should also probably talk about, like, what's going on here as well with you and I because. I can tell you right now, nobody knows that you broke your leg. Oh, yeah. Nobody knows. Like, we used to play games, God, three, four years ago, was it on YouTube, probably? Something like that? Back when we used to play Titanfall 2? Oh, yeah. I will tell you, it hurt on that day. When I saw my, uh, the top of my toe basically wrap around to where my ankle would be. Hmm? Oof. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh felt that snap right then and there took them three days to put me into surgery don't really get why <laughs> well it's just <laughs> dude it probably didn't help the pandemic either because they have to keep the staff safe all this but let's not go yeah. into that that's the last thing we need to go into <laughs> there were a lot of drugs in <laughs> not in a fun way yeah no no me on the other hand I've been fine we eh, haven't been doing much Mm. Moving in between my grandmother's and my house, yeah, it's fun, you know. Gonna need to get a job soon. Yay. Oh god, yeah. Unless of course it kicks off. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, so that's what was happening there. Um mm-hmm. Yeah, and that brings me on to a video I watched a while back. Um when I we we, we talked about like um animated shows among even live action shows over here and it's funny to watch how see how some of these viewers complain about a minute and 30 seconds for an intro oh yeah it is if you've seen the walking dead intro he gets so repetitive just playing the same song every single time uh i, th- I think we're uh, breaking up good sir i'm not hello, hello. uh what's going on oh Oh, there we go. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what that was about there. Right. Yeah. Mine. All I all I heard was I think uh, it was mine or your phone that froze up. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think so because it started on it, PC. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think on that one that might have, that was probably yours. I think yours started to disconnect or something or try to reconnect. Probably. Yeah, but it's funny watching, seeing these people complain about, oh, a minute and a half, it's too long. It's like, a minute and a half, but a minute and a half is like what every anime opening intro is. It's like, what do you expect it not to be? <laughs> like, like yeah, okay, five, ten seconds, yeah, it's boring. It's like, clearly the people who complain about this have never watched an, an anime in their life to where oh. that, that, that song, the song kicks in, whether mm-hmm. it's um, Neon Genesis Evangelion, um, or, um, mm-hmm. <laughs> High School of the Dead, Fate, Day and Night, um, Unlimited Blade Works, all these other shows. Like, when you watch those, because in my opinion, an intro should be used to let people know what a show's about. Like, it gets you reinvested back into the show. Like, that's what I believe the intro should be for. I love anime intros because it's very enriching and you get to hear from new young artists every season or 
every like halfway through the season because you know oh. you're getting new intros just well, not even new young it's just time. new just different songs in general like i'm not gonna lie yeah. so, i listen to a lot of japanese music from anime and i listen and that's and i use them to find out find new ones that i've never heard of like you're mm-hmm. talking you're talking about like of course you have the classics like um like ava's intro intro which is uh cool angel's thesis that's a classic and it's always interesting because yeah not only should it be used not only first of all i've watched so many shows that had forgettable intros Mm -hmm. but the ones that stick with you and the ones that you remember like yeah those are the that's how you know it if an intro is good enough to stick with you then that's how you know it's Mm -hmm. good almost definitely and it's even better when you watch it, and um, the intro actually has the uh, voice actor singing for it. Oh. I don't know what to say about that one, because it can be a hit or miss, but... Uh, it, the yeah, it's quite fun. Always try. Hmm? It, it's quite fun, honestly. Like, Well, specifically more in Japanese. Like, not so much in uh, English. I'm talking about, like, when it's when they dub it in Japanese, something like Monster Musume, they are... Uh, if you actually listen to it, it's actually their Japanese cast singing the theme song. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, it can be good. And then you have the ones that are mixed, the uh, actresses and voice actors and actresses that are actually uh, musicians themselves, you know? Like, mm-hmm. here Yuki Sawano, he, even though he's not one of those, he's an amazing musician. Then you have, like, um, oh, gosh, what's the... You know, it's so hard to remember some of these... Um, uh, who who's that? What's that? I don't remember. <laughs> um, but yeah, you get these ones that have both voice in um mm-hmm. the show. Yeah, I can. Yeah, intros. If an intro stays with you, that's how you know it's good. Unless it's really bad. If it's like one of those, either it has, like I'm not gonna lie, half the anime music nowadays, right? It's forgettable. Oh yes. It's all the exact same. Like, and it's even worse when you go to, like, an, an old, early 2000s, like, harem anime. Like, from, mm-hmm. like, the 2000s. And then they just do that, and it's really high pitch. Hee, 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 hee. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. gosh, that, that hurts when they do that. It's like, it's like, darn, like, okay, mm-hmm. well, that's great. I have no idea, but I'm pretty sure I'm bleeding from my ears right now. Um, <laughs> you know, it's yeah. like... It's like when it has those horrible intros, it's like, and it's common with a lot of early 2000s shows, honestly. Like, those early 2000s shows, oh gosh, they are horrible, a lot of them, like, once you go back and watch them in their original dub. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> when you uh, hear Black Bible's English dub <laughs> over again, probably not worth mentioning. <laughs> Oh no, that was that, those are always entertaining to watch. The, these mm-hmm. well, if we're going to talk about horrible hentai from just about any era, yeah, it's always in, it's always entertaining watching them. Like, it's yeah. there's no purpose to it. Like, it's so bad, the acting's horrible, and yeah, it'll just bring a smile to your face. And it's not because of the it's not because of the TNA or anything like that. It's just because of how bad it is. And I could say ninety five percent of the um, hint uh, you would watch is like that. It's just they are not that good. <laughs> Read them in their original forms. Don't watch them. They'll, usually oh, they aren't yeah. nearly as well animated. I know exactly what you mean. Whenever I get through those subtitles, ah, uh, so much better than the actual just oh yeah dubbing. Oh no, dubbing. because. It, the, what they should do, right, for this, is they mm-hmm. should, if they're going to do it, then they should just get porn stars to double. Hmm. Think about it, because, oh, they're, they're experienced with making noises. <laughs> <laughs> Not a, yes, little Timmy, I'm coming. Uh, like, 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 yeah, like, just... You mean do, nurse home? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, you know, like, just crap like that, that's horrible. Oh, you've got rice on your face. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, like, yeah, it's like, come on, you know. 
Now, it's like they didn't have anyone else to hire for that. <laughs> they probably did, and half of them are, like, released by, like, nobodies in the uh, industry, you know? It's like, when it comes to, like, I'm not talking about nobodies in the Japanese sector, I'm talking about in the U.S. Like, it, you, it's not one of those things where you can just go into a Walmart and pick it up, you know? Oh, yeah. It's not like me who bought a uh, hentai OVA series without realizing it on VHS. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh that That's, old lady who was selling it to you. <laughs> I don't think she knew what it was because the fact of the no. matter is, is like um, Euro, it's Euro Dojki, um or whatever. Uh, I don't remember exactly the how to pronounce it. Um, such a weird show to watch because the fact is, is in the very beginning, um, before it plays a little feature from um, it's called um, uh, I don't remember the company's name, but it said. Yes, you are about to watch an animation from Japan. You may also refer to it as Japanimation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and uh. I swear to gosh, they hired probably the most straight guy. Um, the straight sounding like a uh, teacher almost to talk or about this. Dude. Like, no, just completely like, just almost similar to like the Pacer test, you know? Yeah. Very similar to him, like how he just. He, just he, something's boy. off yeah something's off when, and they do it and it's like can't even talk about all this stuff that you know nowadays to be known as different things and all that and it's like okay luckily they didn't dub <laughs> it luckily I'm glad they didn't dub that because I don't think I'd want to keep those VHS's if they were dubbed <laughs> <laughs> because it was because that specific release of Euro Dojki came out in 19 I think 89 or something hmm. like that, 1989, 1990, from what that box says on it. You're talking about, oh. it comes from, like, a little company, like, back in that day, like, that, and they made, like, no more than, like, I think it was 10,000 copies. 10,000. Which isn't very so much. you got yourself a limited edition there. <laughs> or something like that, yeah, it's, not, and honestly, I looked up online, actually saw none of them online, like, looked up mm. for that, Cause I, because I didn't see any of that with the complete box set, and I looked at what they retailed back in the day for. They re- it retailed for a hundred and ten dollars, back in eighty nine. Why... Okay, you could get a Nintendo Entertainment System at the time for like a hundred bucks. No, mm. it's like okay. <laughs> I wonder if everyone in their grandma has it, <laughs> as most of them. <laughs> Good question, because honestly, she, yeah, she was cleaning out that old gas station and all that stuff, and I went like that. And yeah, she had a couple of older VHSs of like Dragon Ball, but I had absolutely no care in the world for those. But then I see this show, I'm, and I see this one show, and I say, "That's an anime," and I can tell you that right now just from the look of it. And I <laughs> went to, and I saw, it, I'm like, "How much do you want for the show?" And she's like, "What do you think it's worth?" I'm like, "I don't have very much money, ma- ma'am." And she's like, uh, "How much do you have in your wallet?" I said, ten bucks. Take it." <laughs> <laughs> that, that that that's what it was like, and. I don't think that would technically be legal nowadays because technically, to some extent, that's porno- that could be uh, pornography, all that stuff. Oh, yeah. I don't think you're supposed to sell that to someone underaged. No. At that time. But, it's not her fault. Uh, yeah, well, not, it's not it, my fault either because even though it said, it's weird, right? So on the boxes, right, they said, this show is not for kids, right? And I'm like... But the thing is, is where they put it, right? Is like they put it on the bottom of the box, and like the f- faded, a fate the to where you can barely read it, very small. And said, "This show's not for kids." Mhm. But she was very incompetent about the series, so. Well, it wasn't so more much that. It's more that you, you 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 don't expect to know, you don't expect everyone to know about these. I I yeah. didn't know anything about it. That's what. That's why I picked it up. I didn't care if I got ripped off or not. It was just an interesting looking series. Then you exactly. look it up. And then you look it up online and you find like magazine articles and all that and newspaper articles say you could buy it for $110. Wasn't it the whole series on VHS? Hmm? Yeah, it was all six. It was like all five or six OVA series from that time. Yep. Well, you got pretty lucky then, huh? <laughs> Never watched them. After I watched the Never. first VHS and I was like, wait a minute. This is not what I thought it was. It I cannot be caught within. I cannot be caught within 10 feet of these with my parents. <laughs> <laughs> like, because on the box, the box would have you think that oh, it's an act, an old eighties action show or something like that, a show old eighties show. But then you actually get it. Nope, there's tentacles. Uh, 
tentacles and a demon lord. <laughs> Among other things, yeah, exactly. Like yeah. it's it was it was. Though I'm not gonna lie, it's great now. Yeah, <laughs> like then you have like, yeah. So that happened, like, and then you get to these ones where you just start looking around. Because when I go to a lot of like stores and all that, I look for like random crap. I and stuff like I look for. First of all, I like looking for anime because in like ninety five percent of the show, stores, like you go to Walmart and stuff like that, they'll have an anime mm-hmm. selection that have like mostly shown in all the big stuff like that's coming out mm-hmm. during that time. And I also realized how badly ripped off I got um, with Darling the Franks, but that's beside the point. We're not going to talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> Considering that I paid like a hundred bucks total to get uh, the limited edition with both of them. Yeah. And yeah. then and then later on Walmart was having a sale for like fifteen bucks for both part one and part two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most places will um uh, they'll just immediately oversell to you. But well, well no, it's not so much I that. think they would get most of their material from like Funimation and Well not only that, but know. it's the fact of the matter is that with um with the limited edition I decided to order it because I re- that was the first series I can say without a doubt that I watched it. And it, that was a series that got me into Mecca, so I was like, oh, sh- yeah, sure, I'll buy it. It wasn't a very good series of the ending of it, but I watched the series no. when it was airing, and I really enjoyed it. And I picked it up, and I picked up the limited edition from Fun- um, from um, Right Stuff Anime, which is actually, all the if I'm ever pre-ordering a show, that's exactly where I'll go. I would, Because I trust Right Stuff to ship it to me without a broken box compared mm-hmm. to uh, um, Amazon, which you, you're, it's a 50-50 chance that y- your box will be crushed. Oh, yes. And then, yeah, you, so, yeah, you go on them, yeah. Just hate package deliveries sometimes. Oh, my, oh gosh, <laughs> yeah, the package deliveries are not great. Like, oh, I remember back, mm. back when they used to be delivered by the U.S. Postal Service. Oh, you, you, if you, if you bought an anime service from the U.S. Postal Service, you were, you were, you were shit out of luck. It would be crushed like um. Uh, yeah, like it was not. Well, like great. like a pack of um. Uh, I would say cream cheese, underneath a pallet. <laughs> oh no! Like I swear to gosh, sometimes I go, and let's let's see. I probably still have some of my releases that I have that I ordered through them, but like the boxes were chipped and all that stuff. I'm like, how do you chip boxes? You're shipping it in a box filled with a uh, foam. How do you get the box to chip? Uh, I probably do have some somewhere, but yeah, that happened, and I remember like, why? Why would you ship it in a box? At why would you ship it? Why wouldn't you just put it in a little bag? You know, like. But then when they put it in the bag, it would the postal service would just find some way to crush it. Hmm. Like if it's not destroyed in the package, then you're gonna destroy it yourself. If you ever <laughs> buy an anime. Pre twenty like twenty back when like Amazon started introducing their own shipping, like when they would actually mm-hmm. drive with their own drivers and all that, mm-hmm. you would get packages that were like you're talking about. If I ever buy an Amazon anime on Amazon, which at the time if I did it would only be because of it was it was cheaper than Right Stuff because Right Stuff was one of those things where three times a year on Right Stuff anime I would go on Right Stuff one at the beginning, one at the middle, one at the end, um, mm-hmm. around the end of the year. And I'd buy, um, I would buy a bulk order, so sixty, seventy, eighty dollars, up to one hundred and fifty. And so that's how I got a lot of my collection is from right stuff. Looking through not only their clearance but also shows that I might want, and I would buy it then and there. And like right stuff, it's like the first time I got a right stuff package, I was like, ah, the, if the boxes are broken, it's broken. Then I go inside, and I see it literally packed it, so that nothing would break. And I'm like. You're telling me that this can be done? You're telling me I can <laughs> buy something, I can buy my anime online, and then <laughs> receive it without broken cases? This is amazing. That's what oh, I, I that's, love. Bro. That's nope. that's what I was like, like, because Amazon literally to that point, like, I'm not gonna lie, half of my cases look like my Xbox 360 game cases where they were completely yeah. crushed. Whenever they would be, and I'm like, how did you crush them so badly that? It cracks the case to a point to where I have to send back the discs, with like the discs and everything. Like that's not very easy. Did you run it over in your post truck? 
Oh, no, it's not crushed enough. There we go, it's crushed. Just wrap them in a foot of bubble wrap and send them on their way? That would be That's perfect. what Amazon needed to do back then, but now they actually have it somewhat sorted out. Mm. Yeah, and then they would work, and honestly, I also went on eBay a lot during that time and bought a lot of those series used. Because honestly, I'm not going to lie, I'm not a person that cares too much whether it's on Blu-ray or DVD. And most of the time, it doesn't look that bad either way. Like, if people could say, oh, DVD, it's standard definition. I'm like, I don't care. I just want to watch the show. As long as the audio quality isn't utter crap. <sighs> and, uh, yeah, well, then you have all that stuff. And at least now, you don't have to fear nearly as much when you buy stuff off Amazon. Mm. True, but I'm. Um, uh, I would say, my first uh, package uh, involving like an anime disc or you know Blu-ray. Oh, terrible! Just full of cracks all over the case. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, like I'm not going to lie. When like books, it wouldn't matter with because it's like with a book, you don't really have to worry. Oh, it gets somewhat damaged. So what? As long as it's readable, but. With me, I prefer to have a pristine case. It's weird. Books, I don't care. Mm -hmm. They can be, as long as they don't have any pages missing and I can read them, I don't care. But with anime, it's like, there's a single crack in the case. (sighs) (sighs) Like, and I remember one time I ordered, uh, I ordered the complete collection of Spice and Wolf, received it, and literally the case is like, has a massive crack in it and a, a chip missing. I'm like, how is this acceptable? I'm I'm literally paying the same price I would be paying on right stuff for it when it's on sale. And it's like, how is this acceptable? And the thing is, this is what really gets me. We did it when I ordered that show when it came in with a bunch of school supplies, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, they didn't think of maybe putting bubble wrap around it or anything. So what they did is I had a pencil sharpener, I had a backpack, I had all this crap. And it all just landed on top of the show and cracked the hell out of the case. <laughs> like... Come on, guys! You could, you're you're telling me that you couldn't like separate it at all. What would you have thought if they did that to Spice and Wolf? <laughs> oh, I was really pissed at the time. Like considering that I just bought that series, I fell in love with it. I was reading the books um, at that time, so that would have been what what tw- that would have been when I was in tenth grade. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I remember first day in tenth grade we uh. I bought this. I brought the uh, Spice and Wolf uh, bag. Yep, right there. <laughs> <laughs> right there, indeed. Like it was honestly one of the things. Like I was so because at that time I was still a little bit distraught, and I think the first time I ever bought uh, brought that because I I used to really fear being like bullied and crap about like anime and all that crap because that did happen quite a bit at our school you know that there were oh, yeah. people that were just a-holes about that and i was when they'd ride on the that if i the neck of the oh not only that but they would i remember one time i had i was watching a show on my uh, old laptop and someone just and he slams down my laptop and would say you don't need to be watching that crap here mm. and, he, and they thought it was funny i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i was very tempted to put my laptop back in its bag and then beat the crap out of them with the laptop in the bag. Oh, the laptop probably be fine. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, exactly, because you're talking about it was an all-aluminum HP laptop. Walter had basically the exact same one except an earlier model. And you look at how he he beat his up. But the difference is that Ooh. when it's in the bag, I at least know there's padding in that bag. But on the table, you just slam it down. Like, if you broke the screen... That's coming out of my pocket. That's not coming out of his. The school won't do crap. Oh, you're going to suspension for a day. It would be what they would do. They would because they, they... Oh, it's not on your device list. Where it's like, what's the model number of it? Oh, we need to make sure that you aren't browsing any inappropriate sites. Mm. And all this crap, like... Yeah, it's like, come on, dudes. Like, so honestly, I would just never fill out the device forms because I'm like, you do not yeah. need to know what my password is to my computer. Oh, God, no. They would completely just pass over the fact that he just slammed exactly. down your laptop and the screen goes crack. Yeah, exa- like, luckily it didn't crack because I luckily had um, put a um, 
um, I put my jacket in between that area and that because he slammed down with some force. You, uh, you were there that day, I believe. Um, Probably. What, um, if I remember, he, he slammed down with some force. Luckily, I had. Um, I'm so glad I wasn't wearing a jacket with a zipper. <laughs> Let's just say that because that then would have completely destroyed the entire that screen. But luckily, I put that down because I had I had paperwork and all that crap on top of the laptop, and and stuff. And I was like, yeah, no, and I did that, and he went thunk. So it, luckily, it didn't do any damage to it. But still, like you're talking about, who's coming around with enough force that if it was a cheaper laptop, it would have been completely destroyed. Yeah. Like, and just because they had, because see, what irritates me is because my old laptop was one of those ones where the stand was built into the screen, so it actually had a stand on it, um, so it would be lifted up so Eric could get to it. Well, mm-hmm. and so you have, that's why you have to put them down very carefully, because th- those hinges, while they're strong, they aren't the strongest. No, not at all. And so, like, I wasn't as worried about the fact that he slammed the laptop down, like, like, as long as, and once I saw I didn't break through, I'm like, ah, oh, it's fine. But then I'm like, the thing that really pissed me off was he did it, and the hinges then started wobbling. I'm like, oh, that's great. <laughs> like, the laptop hinges already have to deal with gravity themselves. They don't need to de- deal with a retarded 16-year-old kid. And I'm not referring <laughs> about myself. <laughs> uh, okay, rant out of the way. Yeah. All right, so yeah, that that guy's gone. Don't even worry about it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so now, time to admit some crap, right? We've all done mm-hmm. bad things in our life, some worse <laughs> than others. What's one thing that you would say is completely wrong to do in the community, anime community? Oh, to shoot on dubs. Mm, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, no, worse than that. Worse than that. Worse than that. Worse. Ugh. Do you see what it is? See what it is? Hmm? You, you, Sorry, um... You know what it is now, don't you? <laughs> it... The Fate series is an no. incredible series that everyone <laughs> should love and respect. Okay, okay, and no. Who... I'm talking about bootlegs, dude. I'm talking about bootlegs. Uh, bootlegs. <laughs> Buying bootlegs. <laughs> Oh, okay, I thought you were talking about the Fate series. <laughs> oh, what? Do, do, should we do? An, should we go into explanations now? How, should I explain to you how the Fate series? No. Uh, I will. Like that. That Unless could be you another want the topic. To see you get a tattoo. <laughs> Actually, that could definitely be a topic we could do. Like that could definitely be a topic. Yeah, mention in the comments. Uh, uh yeah, yeah. Stories, mention uh, the painful event. <laughs> yeah, mention in the comments. Yeah, they'll, like they'll get to uh, an hour. And two minutes mm-hmm. into the video. <laughs> like, but, okay, let's talk about bootlegs, alright? What's your opinion on them? When it comes What's to bootlegs. When it comes to bootlegs Bootlegging. of, like, anime. Like, specifically the, uh... The, uh, like... Um, ooh, crap. Like, the, um... I would say some are done badly. Others are done great. And others are just... Eh. Or bleh. The Malaysian bootleg is indeed one of those deals where honestly, it's I have mm, somewhat mixed to positive feelings about them because see, what a lot of people mm-hmm. don't realize is that while well, yeah, it's wrong to buy bootlegs, right? I completely mm-hmm. agree. You should be supporting. It. But what most people also don't take into consideration about them, right, is that ninety five percent of when you buy an actual physical release of a um, TV series. Now that money is go- like, like only a, like only a set amount. So say three percent is going to then going to go to the Japanese distributor of it, right? Mm-hmm. And then another say one percent is going to go one percent then is going to make its way back down to the studio. It's not oh. like so. Most of the time, not, like ninety percent of it will be going to Funimation, for literally mm-hmm. no reason. Absolutely. So. Mm-hmm. And that's where I feel more akin to saying, I am not nearly, like when I was younger, I used to think that, oh, I would never buy a bootleg. Bootlegs are, like, they're horrible. They don't support the community. But then I realized, it's not any better buying a physical, like buying an actual official release. 
Because like, it's all going to the same place, all the money that it makes. Yeah, it, well, no, it's go, the fact of the matter is, the money that you spend from a bootleg, because the other thing you have to take into consideration is that a bootleg, at most, maybe costs $20. Yeah. You're not spending 40 to $200 on a bootleg. Like, Absolutely. You're spending, like, I found in the mid area, probably 10 bucks. Like so, oh. they aren't go- they aren't gonna be making that much money off it, but then you take these overpriced ones like forty to like two hundred bucks, and you're telling me ninety five percent of that's going to Funimation. Mm-hmm. The five is going to the original distributor, and then what they decide to trickle on down to the um, original. And if you consider that it's a forty dollar DVD, mm-hmm. not very much. No. So it's like, I honestly changed, because once I bought my first bootleg, I was like, okay, it's not as bad as I thought it was, and hey, I didn't have to pay 30 bucks for a uh, DVD version, copy of Fate's Day Night Heaven's Feel 1, because oh. I was not going to pay $30 for a single movie on DVD. Well, at least you aren't paying 60 but paying that much in general is just a terrible 30 idea. bucks is more akin to what you would, 30 to... 30, 40 bucks, you can get a discounted anime on Blu-ray for 30 bucks. Mm-hmm. Like, I could afford it to be the rough standard of what you should be paying. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. while well, technically even then that's overpriced compared to normal TV series, it's not nearly as, at least it's not overpriced like Anaplex. Mm-hmm. Like, Anaplex are literally the worst. They're the ones who charged 80 bucks for the DVD uh, series of um, Sword Art Online. And then they're charging now... Um, 180 for the complete collection of the Fate series, Fate Stay Nights Unlimited Blade work, on Blu-ray. Right. Like you're talking about, no. you're talking about 25 episodes. 180 dollars. Uh, I. The world is burning. <laughs> the world's been burning, man. What are you talking about? It's been like that for like Absolutely. three years now. <laughs> uh, but instead. Of- Referring or talking about depressing things, how about we talk about um uh, the style of tattoo you're planning on getting? Hmm? Uh, I don't know. Because hmm? okay. I do recall you saying that it's uh, an anime-based tattoo. Oh, hmm? God, okay, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's... Absolutely. Yeah, you, you, yeah, okay. Yeah. You've known about this for years now. It's yes. not, it's not it's like that was one of the earliest things like the work like back <laughs> when we first met again after about what was it five six years by that point yeah about yeah that. so yeah so when I was first getting back into anime and still to this day to some extent um he got his tattoos Matthew uh show him show them your tattoos actually uh or at least just bad lighting but yeah yeah well you can still show something in bad lighting. They're black. Yeah. It's it's gonna show up still. It's actually probably mm-hmm. the blackest thing in your room. <laughs> probably. Yeah, but like yeah. So he got his tattoos, and so and I watched Kill a Kill at that point, and I was thinking, a single scissor blade would be nice, like a scissor blade on my uh, inside my arm. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, and over the years, I have changed some perception of what it might be because originally I wanted to get uh. A, one scissor, one part of the scissor blade on each arm, and then, um, and then uh, sinkets and jinkets. That's not happening. <laughs> um, but, yeah. uh, but then I decided recently that if I'm gonna get a tattoo like that, it's gonna be a single silver um, scissor blade from Kill la Kill because that was the show that got me into anime in general. And it was gonna do that, and I was gonna um, be a silver. Um, it was gonna be like a silver metallic ish. Um, version instead of it being the original red, I found um, a pre rendered model of one online once, and it was a silver color look, and it was like a brushed stainless silver, and I, um, it was a brushed silver, and I was like, that looks amazing, like imagine mm-hmm. getting that ma- color, except put on the scissor blade part, and I was like, yeah, that looks cool, so yeah, that's probably what I plan on getting there. Yeah, but um. I personally think that you should go with them a, a thick black lining for them. Just, you don't suddenly pop more. 
Exactly, yeah, because it's like I'm going because I was looking, I was thinking, yeah, red, red, because the original Scissor Blade doesn't know are red. Uh huh. Yeah, but honestly, over the years, it's not that I don't love Kill Kill. I love Kill Kill, but I also think that yeah, it's cool. But I've seen some of the other people who've gotten tattoos like that. I was like, I would rather make it a little bit more my own than make it just a direct copy of um the um um weapon because i've seen some and while they look okay i'm not gonna lie i'd rather get what it's somewhat personalized you know yeah i would say that's a great idea go with your only original design well it won't be original because of course it's being based off of that, yeah but you but know what i'm yeah it, it, original in the uh sense that you at least have some original pieces on it hmm? yeah And I have sent you the photo. Okay. Now I just need to go in here. Um, <laughs> to... Okay. Boop a doop boop, ba doop a doop boop, ba doop a doop boop. Okay, now share your screen. But if you take a look at that, that looks pretty decent. Like yeah. Oh, and there we go. Like you look at that, that looks pretty good in my opinion. Don't you agree? Uh, that, yeah, that, yeah mm-hmm. you got that. What was that? Almost what? Almost three years ago now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'd say the black's been holding up quite well, along with the purple. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Like you look at that, and that looks pretty decent. So mm-hmm. yeah, you get that, and yeah, like I would. That's what I was thinking about doing. Like, so he got that, and I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. I might do something like that. And I'm like, huh. What would it be, though? <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, but that's oh, yeah. probably what it would be. At least that's to some extent. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to be a great idea for a tattoo, and I think you're going to do great. Exactly, yeah. Mm-hmm. But you, but I understand that you do not know the date yet, or when you want to get this. Uh, it'll, it'll be, uh, I have to get a job first, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Gets, I have to. I have to get some sort of. Oh no! I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go get it right now, and then. Oh wait, money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. So, yeah, we have that. Anything else you want to add on? Um, no, I think I'm, I think I'm good. I think I've covered enough that uh, I'd want to. Although I will not be covering the Misfits today. Hmm? The what? Save that for another live stream. It's not even live stream, man. It's recording. Well, not live. Yeah, yeah recording. If we were doing this live, oh gosh, yeah. No, I oh, couldn't. Yeah, we, I I wouldn't we, go on. I wouldn't go on. Un, I wouldn't go unfiltered. Yeah, I think they absolutely do. Trust me, I'm not. Trust me, I don't trust myself enough not to like release our personal information. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just release your email by accident. Oh, I'm not worried. Yeah. Anybody can access my email. Oh yeah, true. It's not so much that. It's more that the fact I don't want them to know my full. Well, I don't want them to know. They know my name's Corey. I don't need them to know where yeah. I live. I don't. Well, it's not like. It's not like if they didn't already have a version of my video, they wouldn't have already known my address, so. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, that video's been edited for quite a few years now. But, um... But I think the audience should, uh, have a great day. Or and... night. I mean, pretty sunny out, but yeah. <laughs> well, but who says it's gonna be, um, sunny out later tonight? True. <laughs> 
I'm gonna release it at twelve o'clock. <laughs> no, I'm gonna probably if this ever does get released. Yeah. It's one of those deals where yeah, just because I'm recording it, I have like fifty thousand different things I've recorded that have never been released on my YouTube channel because I'm too lazy. Ah. Oh. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this will be released. It'll be released sometime within the next couple days. Okay, so today's okay. eight twenty nine. 21. Uh, this is probably going to be released by 9.05. 21. Oh. So, yeah, that that should, yeah, that should be doable. What am I going to do? I just have to comb through the video. I doubt I've done anything stupid. I, I'll just have to go to the one hour mark because that's the only time where I would have done anything stupid to begin with. Um, oh. But, yeah, if we just do that, uh, that we don't have any set dates, we should probably also learn to talk about some other things as well, because, let's see, we covered yeah. intros to some extent, we've covered bootlegs, we've covered tattoos, huh. we've covered um, some of the shows we've yeah. watched, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, some of the shows we believe should get second seasons, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Yeah, well, this has been Corey, and mm -hmm. whatever the channel name is probably going to be. It's probably the second game still, but I don't honestly care about that name. I'm just doing mm -hmm. this for fun. I don't, I'm not doing this like I used to. Oh, I have to record all my gameplay for YouTube. Oh, mm -hmm. God, that, I got that since meant back when I was in middle school. <laughs> That's why I don't really care too much about YouTube, telling you the honest. It's just more of a place to have fun. And also, it's a good place. It's watching some AMVs. Well, anyways, you guys have a great night, day, whatever. And, uh, well, see you next time. If there is a next time. Oh, yeah. Have Indeed. a great day.